Just Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Keiko crinkles. Um, so let's get into that. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need sugar. So you're going to need sugar, um, we have cocoa powder, four eggs, um, co coconut oil, um, baking powder, vanilla, flour, salt, and um, powdered sugar to cook the top of it when they are done. And also a large mixing bowl. So the first thing that we do is we go ahead and preheat the oven to um, 350. So let me go ahead and preheat that really quickly. Okay, so while the oven is preheating, we're going to start by mixing our sugar and oil until it's well combined. So for sugar, we need one and three fourths cup of cane sugar. So let me see the measuring inside of this. Okay, this is one third. So I'm gonna start off with my one cup of sugar. So there's one cup there. Let me make sure that it focuses. And I'm just going to be taking sugar and adding it to my large whoops, mixing bowl. supposed to happen. Okay, next you're going to do half a cup of coconut oil. Mine's melted since it's in the cabinet. Or maybe not, it might be a little solid. Okay, good. I'm going to take a spoon here. I'm um, sorry for the background noise. My dad's trying to fix the thing that I have in the background. So I'm just going to fill up spoon wise. Three fourths cup, oh, one half, half a cup of coconut oil. So like I said, you're going to combine it with your sugar first. There. Okay. Make sure you wash your hands too. Please be sanitary with COVID and everything. Okay. So there's half a cup of coconut oil that you can see. I'm going to just dump it in there and scrape everything with it. Just because a little scrape, just like get an eighth of a teaspoon. Okay, so that's it with your coconut oil. Okay, so now we're going to combine it all together, like so. Okay. Look into it there. I'm just gonna try to take the clumps out. It actually smells like coconut. I mean, obviously there's coconut, but it smells really good. It kind of reminds me of like shredded coconut. Okay. Okay, just combined all that together. Should look something like that. Well combined, okay. Okay, it should look something like this. It's well combined everything's together. So now we're going to add our eggs and we're going to mix the vanilla with, with it as well. So for vanilla, we need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So here's my teaspoon. So five milliliters or something. I don't know. One teaspoon. Okay. Two. And then for our four eggs, I have my four eggs right here. One. Two. Whoa. Three. And. So now that our vanilla and our eggs are in there, I'm just going to kind of poke the eggs a little bit and mix everything well together. Okay, just 
scrape the bottom. Okay. I re don't recommend eating this just raw egg right now. Um, but other than that, mix it very well and thorough and scrape the sides and the bottom until all your eggs are combined. Okay. There we go. So now we're going to sift. So I have a regular sifter in the cabinet, but I'm just going to use this because it's a little bit quicker for me. And I promise this is clean, it's just a leaf in there. So you're going to combine your salt, your flour, and your cocoa powder. So I'm going to start with my salt. So for salt, you need... Hold on, sorry you guys. Oh, it's your cocoa powder, um, your flour, your baking soda, and no, baking uh, powder, and your salt. So now I'm just going to kind of focus in on this right here. So for your cocoa powder, um, we're going to start with our cocoa powder. So we need, so one cup of cocoa powder. My cocoa powder has plums in it. I should probably be spooning this, but I'm just lazy and I'm not going to do that. Um, let me get this right here. So, ooh, okay. One cup of cocoa powder. Two cups of flour. So two cups of flour. Um, two teaspoons. Whoops. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Hi, Buck. One, two. This oven perfectly preheated. All right. So there's our cocoa powder, and then we're gonna do our salt. How much salt? We need half a teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Not a tablespoon. Here's a teaspoon. This is the Himalayan salt. just a way to make sure that there are no clumps of flour or whatever you're gonna use um, I know there are some that you can like do it with your hand I just find that too much not too much of work but just a little too much so I'm gonna kind of show you guys how I'm sifting it with a regular um, strainer for like pasta noodles or fruits or vegetables um, sometimes it depends how much you're using it can take a while um, but otherwise, we're going to sift it, like so. Okay, make sure that it's in frame, take this out of frame, and just kind of like sift it in to there. Like you can see that I just combined it everything, and it's kind of going really fast. So this is kind of what it looks like when everything's sifted. No, that's not everything, but... Some people can go like that, I just find it easier to go like this. And then once you get to the end where you can see there's this kind of like crumbs like that. Um, I'm going to just take 
this right here and just mush it. Alright, this part can be a little bit more time consuming, but I'm just going to take this. Okay. There. Okay. So now once everything is in there, um, oh, those are supposed to be in separate bowls, but that's okay. I'm just going to mix it very well. I think I've used pretty much every everything. So you're going to mix this by hand, so not with a mixer. Um. Just kind of mix everything together and then you're going to um, scoop the dough. Um, it doesn't really say, so it says greased or lined. I'm just going to grease it because I don't want to use parchment paper. Okay. I'm just going to probably end up using oil so you can start to see that the dough is starting to form a little there. Make sure you always scrape the sides down like so. Um, just make sure everything's combined. Um, I'm going to be taking a, hold on guys, it's, I used it yesterday so I made mini cupcakes. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a video on that but just keep mixing and mixing until you start to get like a dough like that cake dough I mean cake cookie dough um, I'm kind of incorporating it like so so you can start to see that there's dough starting to form as all as flowery um, sorry, that's my mom telling the dog not to do whatever. Um, the dough, so you can tell that the dough got really thick, like so. It's not a, whoops, I'm gonna break that. Um, but you can kind of see that there's flour if you look really closely, like right there is flour. So I'm just going to mix it into the center and back in the center. Making it to the oven's already heated. Um, place them, not place them, um, preheat your oven to 350. So once this is done, like you can see, it is done there. Now I'm going to move you guys back so you can guys see me now. Okay. There we go. So our dough is complete. This is basically the scoop of it. It's uh, like a batter scoop or like some sort of scoop. So I'm just going to take my biggest tray and just scoop the dough on there. Um, so this is, this is one of the two biggest sides I have. Um, so I'm just going to take some regular cooking spray and spray it by the seat very lightly and but well. Okay. So there we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my handy dandy scooper and scoop enough and just put back some. Um, onto your tray. Make sure that there is space evenly between them, or you can just take the spatula and scrape it off like so. So like so. I don't know how many this makes, um, but. I will keep putting them in there. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep scooping my batter and make 
sure that you do space them because if you don't, the cookies are going to stick together and you're just going to have a block. So I'm just going to get a close up on what, ooh, what I'm doing really quickly. Okay, let's show you guys. There's the sugar. Woo. Okay. So that's in the way. Okay. So you can kind of see. I don't know. Okay, sorry about that. But you can see this. Uh oh, I got it on the camera. Okay, so my cookie dough. And then here's the tray. I'm gonna start moving some of this out of the way. But there's my tray of cookies that I'm starting to form. So I'm just going to take my scoop and fill it up about halfway and then I'll wipe it there and then just space it evenly like so. Like that. So there is what the spacing looks like. So I'm just going to keep repeating that process until I am done. So I'll see you guys when I'm done with that and I'm putting them in. Hey guys, this is a quick public service announcement that I forgot to tell you how long these have to bake for. So like I said, they, um, they go in the oven for 10 to 15 minutes at 350 degrees. I just popped mine in. I have one tray left, but also to go along with that, um, mudge together. Just because you did put coconut oil in it, and then I did grease my pans as well. Um, that's what happened to mine, so I just took my finger, then they were clean. And I just um, bashed them, and then I just separated them back where they belong. So make sure you please put it on a flat surface, or you're going to have to put all that batter back in and scoop it again. Um, so I'm just going to let mine cook for 10 more minutes. I put mine for 12, and I'm just going to check on them while I put stuff away and clean up dishes. So... Yeah, really quickly, this is something that I forgot to mention um, during the recipe. Um, I'm probably going to put it in between the clips. But um, when you are making, when you are scooping or rolling your um, uh, balls of co uh, cookie dough, oh, cookie dough, <laughs> um, make sure you roll it in powdered sugar. Um, I totally forgot to do that because the directions that I have are super tiny. Um, but. Really quickly, this is kind of what I did. It's, I just took the powdered sugar and I just like tapped it on top of the um, cookies. Um, so they are currently in the oven. I have five minutes left, but that's what they kind of look like with the oven light on. They don't. They're starting to crackle. I'm gonna try to open it. But here, I'll try to focus in on this one. Starting to like crackle, which is awesome. It's this one. There you go. See, they're starting to crackle a little bit. That one's perfect, like right there. Okay. So that's kind of where they're at. Um, I'm just kind of picking up stuff quickly. But that's all I want to say. Just roll your uh, balls of cookie dough or dough um, in the. Um, Powdered sugar. So yeah, they all came out of the oven right now. My mom just they tried. My sisters and my mom tried them. Um, but this is what they ended up looking like. Like some of them, you can tell. Sorry for the light. I don't know why it's bad. I mean, okay. But they did turn out like so, like that. Some of them didn't, but that's totally a okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what I should bake or cook next. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video.